If you choose to go with adding texture to your portrait as an additional technique, there's a lot of objects and ways that you can add texture with, um, but I would recommend using a stencil or um, some sort of object that just might be laying around your house that you're able to add paint to without ruining. Um, so a few examples uh, could be bubble wrap, sponge, flower, leaf. So any object that you're able to paint on top of, and then you can kind of press that object down onto your picture, and it will add that texture on top with the paint. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play a video of um, an example here, adding texture. And uh, you can see in this video with adding texture, I'm using an object that has holes in it here that I'm able to just paint directly on top of. Um, and then it's going to leave space um, in between and have that uh, paint underneath when I peel this off. So that's one way is finding objects where uh, there are holes or gaps in it where you're able to just paint right on top of like this. Um, or again, you could use a sponge or maybe a leaf paint onto it and then press it onto um, your painting like a uh, stencil or a stamp. So I'm going to kind of skip through this so you can get the idea and see the end result, but I would recommend doing this multiple times. So as a goal, um, find maybe three or four places on your portrait that you can add the stencil or the stamp to. Um, so that way you get some movement and it's not just in one area. And then also think about the color scheme. So what colors are going to go well together with what you already have? So I am using the blue in the background. I have orange on the face, so I was doing complementary colors. But now adding this yellow is creating warm and cool colors. So warm colors in the foreground, cool colors in the background. So think about how you're changing your color scheme if you're doing this. Um, I could have also maybe just used blue or an orange color like what I used on the portrait and kept it all consistent. Um, but I'm going to, again, skip one more time here so you can see... Um, a little bit more. Again, I put this in a couple places to create movement so it's not just all located in one area. And then I'm adding the last spot, peel that off, and then you can see the little bit of texture that just creates an extra kind of layer to your portrait.